Right, let's have a look at the fight. It, it was a, an epic fight on Saturday. Um, oh. Let's pick it up in the ninth. Mm. Yeah, that's really how, how, how are you feeling going into this round? Uh, sore? Uh, Tired? Well, I wouldn't say sore. I can walk through anything forever, but on the night, or maybe a bit sore days after, a bit tired, but... Um, I, I was just, I'd never really been fit ever and I was still a bit unsure about how I could last and well, now I know and, you know, I learnt a lot and look, it, I'll start committing earlier in fights with bigger shots and I think any time I land I can hurt people now. How did you have it scored again, Matt, going <laughs> to this? Uh, I think I had it level going into the last round, but I remember the ninth, the ninth. round, Fowler had a big round. He did, he did. Uh, he has you, a good you'd round. Actually, I felt like you, you'd had a good little phase coming up to this point. Yes. And Fowler yes, had yes. a big you ninth know, this, round. This was his best round, that's, we're not denying that. But you watch the end of this round and I come back with some more okay shots if you watch. That's a great up quiz to stick me with. Yeah. But, but at this point, did, did you feel like Fowler was, was punching himself out? Yeah, but look at me, I'm well in control of my head here. And the shots were good shots, you can hit hard. hard were you enough. hurt? They didn't hurt, but I felt them buzz me a bit, but didn't go past my hips, so my legs stayed strong the whole time. And I knew exactly what I was doing, and in my head I'm thinking, go on, lad, you can't do this forever. I wonder how you're seeing it at home, I hope you're enjoying it. He's a well-schooled amateur, he knows when he needs a big finish, and he'll know when it's last minute. Fitzgerald, I think, is just looking to maybe get through this round. Good uppercut from Fitzgerald. Oh, beautiful shot from really Fitzgerald. Good work. And down and down goes Fowler in the final round. What's going through your mind then? Uh, what was going through my mind was, I looked over at him and I saw him get up and I saw the ref say, put your hands up and he didn't automatically do it. And I thought, oh, he's not right at all. And I thought, let me get over there and, and get rid of him. And Scott Fitzgerald has made a mockery of those odds. I'll never be so merciful again to let someone off because I didn't think the scorecards... I can understand why, because there were a lot of close rounds, but I didn't think the scorecards would be as close, and I could have drawn and lost the fight, and next time I will never let someone off the hook. So how are you feeling here? Here, I'm Confident like... Confident you were going to get the decision? I should have known. I knew I should be getting that, but they give it the first. I think it's only for drama, so they can give me the last two. I did. I keep believing. I've been really positive, and that's how I'm staying. And I knew I was going to win, I won it. Everyone's won money, and they're buying me aftershaves, and... And uh, they're giving me other presents, it's wicked. I'm around Preston, it's getting presents of everyone. But, it, but, it, but it's like, my head's getting a bit pecked, but I love them all, they're, like, they're legends. Well, good to have you, Scott. Well done at the weekend. Nice one, you're legends, honestly, everyone. Cheers.